Hey guys, good morning. This is Faith on with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I am going to share with you four Dollar Tree DIY Christmas decor that you can incorporate in your home today. Quick, easy, and inexpensive. So I was in a Dollar Tree and I saw these flat canvas and i just thought how wonderful i had not seen them this large before at the dollar tree now they didn't have the normal back like this one this one is just flat and this have the wood to elevate this canvas but you will need both so i went ahead and got the large one and this is the 11 by 14 inches and this one is a 10 by 8 so you will need both of them you will need a gift bag of your choice whatever picture you like best i love snowmen so i'm going with the snowman you'll also need some tissue paper i'm going with the green because i want to go ahead and match this green in the picture so I'm going with green tissue paper. You can choose whatever picture you want, whatever color that goes best for your home decor. You'll also need some Mod Podge glue. I went ahead and poured my glue already. You will need your glue gun, glue sticks, and you will need your paintbrush and some water. I like to have water just to clean my brush and to keep it from getting sticky. You'll also need some gems. Okay guys, once your canvas is dried, what we want to do is go ahead and take the small one and glue it onto the center of the large one. So we're gonna need a generous amount of glue. decided I want to add some diamond wrap to this so I'm going to go ahead and begin to outline the top canvas onto the base with some of the silver diamond wrap from Totally Dazzle. is or you can add some more diamond wrap if you'd like I think I might outline it with another strip of diamond wrap let's go ahead and do that so you'll need two dish cloth of your choice you'll need some twine you'll need a bag of filler which I got from Walmart 
you'll need your glue gun, your glue sticks, and a pair of scissors. Let's jump right into this DIY. So what we want to do is flip our dishcloth over. Line the sides up. Then we're going to outline with the glue. Once you've filled your pillow, you're going to go ahead and begin to tuck one side in so you can fold your cloth on top, okay? So what we want to do is lay our glue down and we're going to go slowly, one section at a time. So I went ahead and took my twine, cut a little piece off of it, create a simple little bow. And now I want to go ahead and place that bow right underneath my snow, the word snow. Then I'm going to attach the bow and that's it. Quick, easy, simple and I think beautiful. This next DIY is going to be a simple candle holder. And I saw this at the Dollar Tree and I could not resist because it had the Pont Santa on it. And I thought, how perfect is that? So I decided that I want to turn it into a candle holder. So you will need one of the Pont Santa plastic cups from the Dollar Tree. You'll need one of the candle holder spray paint, and you will also need some diamond wrap. I'm going with the gold diamond wrap from Totally Dazzle. You will need your glue gun and your glue sticks and your scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this candle holder. Go ahead and add the diamond wrap. And now I want to use the Walmart gems to add to the center of my pont setter. Lay some glue down. need for your next project one of these Dollar Tree wreaths, two of their picks, a sleigh, and twine. Your glue gun, glue sticks, and scissors.
of my husband PJ's material left over. I shared with you guys the other day. And I just wanna go ahead and cut off a strip of that and create a rustic bow. I wanted to share with you this Christmas wall decor I created on my last Christmas video. I will put that link down below. Now this is how all of my DIY for Christmas turned out. I hope that you like the way that they look. If you do, give me a thumbs up and share with your family and friends the video. I truly appreciate your time and your support. Leave me a comment and let me know which one of these DIY are your favorite. All right, I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you on my next DIY.